Hi, everyone. I'm George Tsiatis. I'm the CEO and one of the co-founders of The Resolution Project. I'm joined here today by my dear friend, chair and co-founder of The Resolution Project, Oliver Libby. We're excited to share with you a little bit about the First to Believe campaign and also to share with you our first believer. Uh, the First to Believe campaign is all about recognizing and shouting out those people who took a risk on us, made it possible for us to be where we are today, whose action made it possible for us to act. And so really it's a chance to look back, reflect, and thank those people whose decisions were so consequential in our lives. Uh, looking back, we recognize really this was the person that made it possible. And so we'll just give you an example by sharing with you our first believer. Oliver? Geraldine Acuna Sunshine and her husband Gabe Sunshine and their family were truly the first to believe in the Resolution Project and in us. And this is the animating principle that actually is a through line for all of Resolution's activities. It's so important to remember that Resolution is the first to believe for all of our fellows. So it's great to be able to look back into our history and reflect on Geraldine's enormous impact on our organization. George, I wonder if you would share a little bit about your recollection of Geraldine's first moments hearing about Resolution and what she did to impact us so deeply. Yeah, I remember, uh, I remember one of our first meetings with Geraldine where we, where we spoke about uh, the Resolution Project and something she said um, had a really powerful impact on my life and a, a really powerful uh, uh, impact on, on the trajectory that my life's taken. Um, uh, when we were discussing the idea of, of resolution, um, she suggested that, that maybe I would run the organization, that I might be a good, a good pick to run the organization. Now, that didn't happen for another uh, seven or eight years after that. Um, but just the, the fact that she thought it was something uh, that I could do uh, really gave me, really planted the seed for me to think that it was, in fact, something that I could do. And so I just wanted to acknowledge how powerful that moment was, uh, especially coming from such an incredibly successful and, uh, and, and brilliant and wonderful person as Geraldine. Uh, and it's made a profound impact on my life and really changed the entire direction uh, because she was the first to believe in my leadership and that I could actually do this. Yeah, I mean, I would say sometimes the first to believe is also someone who can be the first to see things for what they are and have a bit of perspective. And Geraldine's been that person for us, not just at the beginning in that very first meeting where she allowed us to move forward with our, our very first significant uh, grant as we were scaling the organization, but also someone who continues to be the first to believe at every level. I think it's important to reflect, George, that an organization has many key inflection points as it grows. And what Geraldine and Gabe and their family have done for us is to be the first to believe not just at the beginning, but the first to believe in each inflection point in each incremental step that allowed us to take resolution now to 82 countries and to hundreds and hundreds of fellows. It's a very special bond that you build with that person who's the first to believe and someone who becomes embedded in the culture of the organization, truly family to us. So I think it's important to reflect, Geraldine taught me that you can be the first to believe many times over. And I hope and believe that we are now that for all of our resolution fellows. So I just wanna say, I think on behalf of George, myself and, and our whole resolution family, Geraldine, thank you. You were truly the first to believe in us, the first to see so many things. And you set in motion what animates the beating heart of the resolution project. Thank you. <laughs> 